Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, and good night to some of you wonderful people of Biafra all over the world. I bring to you Father Mbaka. I bring to you Father Mbaka, the saga between Mbaka and Onaga. Of course, I told you guys when it all started with uh, one Mr. Simon Epa talking about Onaga. Onaga this, Onaga that, Onaga have a baby, Onaga have a wife, Onaga had this, we know all that. And I ask all of you, what do you think and why do you think all these things were coming out? People came with a different opinion. I came with an opinion that some one reverend father gave him all that information in order to, you know, sabotage Onaga. Because that's what they do. That is what they do. But I am going to tell you the actual reason why Chukwokikabiyama allowed Mbaka to disgrace himself. You know, I want to tell you he thought it's just business as usual. But of course you have seen it is no longer business as usual. People are waking up. People are waking up. You know, you most of the time you fight with politicians. We don't know. We do. We don't know the reason why you are fighting with the politicians because they did not recognize you and give you some money. That is the reason why during the time of Buhari, you told us that he is God sent today. Buhari become Boko Hari. Everywhere our people are dying. Church of church massacre in Ondo State. It is Christianity. It is Christian. You did not make any word. You didn't talk about it, Reverend Father Mbaka. And I want to tell you that the reason why Chukwo Kikabiyama allowed you to be disgraced in this manner, allowed you to belittle yourself in this manner, allow you to expose yourself in this manner, because you saw what is happening in IPOB, you decided to join autopilot. Father Mbaka is an autopilot. And that is the reason why he is go. It is going to start with him, just like I told you, you know that all these pastors, reverend, all of them are going to be disgraced one by one, because they are protecting evil. They will see the truth and call it evil, and see evil and call it the truth. The time of reckoning is when we are. The time when the first shall be the last, while the last shall be the first. The time when the truth will prevail and the lie will be destroyed. That is the time we are right now. Reverend Father Mbaka used, you know, one Mr. Simon to talk about Onaga. At the end of the day, the leverage is to say, you talk about sit at home. Simon, that is the same thing. You are reaping the fruit of your labor. Simon, indirectly and directly, you were endorsing Simon, who is destroying and distracting the struggle that is laid and the foundation of the struggle laid by Mazen Namdekano. It is like now in your adoration ministry, you have a problem and somebody that you never give any position come up and start using your adoration ministry to collect offering, telling them that they are taking it to orphanage home if it is something you used to do but you did not give that person, you know, a key to that or, or you know, authority to, to ascertain that. And they come up from nowhere and they start doing it. You will be happy. The same thing that you have preached against IPOB by endorsing Simon. One way or the other. You know many people does not know that you endorse Simon. But of course I know. I know that you endorsed him. And that is the reason why we are. I am now coming to confirm it. That all that utterances that I made before it is nothing but the truth now you did not want to leave politics alone for politics to leave you during the time of Chimaro Ken Namani 
after Chimaro Ken Naman, you were a big enemy to Chimaro Ken Naman. And Chimaro Ken Naman, who was, uh, who was the, the lawyer? The lawyer for Chimaro Ken Naman is uh, the ex governor of Enugu State. Um, I can't remember the name of that uh, young man. He was the lawyer to Chimaro Ken Naman. You were a big enemy to Chimaro Ken Naman. Immediately when that lawyer, who was even representing Chimaro Ken Naman, when you went to court with him, after he gone into the office, uh, probably he gave you some, some, some recognition and you begin to, you know, work with him again. Because Chimaro can never give you recognition. This is to tell you that every uh, politician that Mbaka is actually criticizing, he is not criticizing those politicians for the sake of you and I, or the common man on the ground. He criticized them for the sake of not recognizing him. That's what he's been doing. But the reason why I'm here is not to defend politicians. It is to state a fact. Religiosity and all these things are destroying our people's brain. That is a way of mental slavery. And it has been haunting us. The only way we can get out of this religiosity and all that madness it is to believe in ourselves, believe in Chukwo Kikabiyama, believe in your God, wherever you are. God is there. Pray unto him. He will answer you. And a faith without a work is dead. Not when the Fulani headsman is chasing you with AK-47 and Obejili. You will be chasing them with Bible and prayers. It does not work like that. The book of Isaiah made you to know you should prepare yourself and get your own weapon and armor for the time to defend yourself. Some of you, when they are using AK-47, you are using Holy Ghost fire. You are using Holy Ghost fire. Mental slavery. You don't understand self-defense. Fabian Wogi war, you will be shouting Holy Ghost fire. You will find yourself in the other side. That is all this religious doctrine nonsense that you people are buying every day. But I am here and I am standing to tell you that the time of all this religious shenanigan, it is over. It is officially over. Whether Mbaka want to start exposing the truth about Onaga, we know that he is the one who gave Simon the information about Onaga that he is bragging. That's how he get it. Just like I told you, most of the things politicians that are using him will give it to him to expose for everybody to believe Ah, he is up to date, he has a network. It doesn't work like that. It is about who is that you are working with. Olumbaka Kugun. And let me bring to you where he claimed that he prophesied about what happened today. He claimed that he prophesied about what is happening now. But I can assure him it is not any prophecy. I can assure him he, there are many prophecies he gave that never come to pass. Just because you people are always connecting a wrong dot, what you saw that he claimed he prophesied, it was him creating a shenanigan like this in this day. Notwithstanding that shenanigan he's creating will expose him and expose everything. Listen to his prophecy, his so-called prophecy. Let's go there. Manage America. 
And then I can be a more poor, honey, like a well, you couldn't so go. Oh, for the man, but I can only marry. I got it. I look at Fufu. Money make it in the gate. I can That's it. Did you hear that? That's how it is. That is how they will always, that is how they will always you know intimidate you. That or or tutuni men they guy me and them babua or tutuni me faga nakanobuzi chuku. Just like uh, this uh m wada no one na na sunu no ne general se. On a general say, but if you are born to preach the Bible, right. to show you that uh, most of the people who are carrying Bible are hypocrites. They are all hypocrites. The time is gone by when somebody will hold Bible and they start to, they, they will be deceiving you and they will be threatening you, believing that their threat is going to do anything against you. The threat is for nothing. The, the battle that God does not know about does not happen. Let me be honest with you. You see the struggle we are. IPOB Biafra struggle. It is led by Chukwo Kikabiaba who lives in heaven. Anybody who come to use one way or the other to, you know, to, to, you know, to blackmail this struggle, or to find a way to divide this struggle, believe you me, time, time will tell, time will judge that person. You know the activities of this man. During the time Mazen Nam the Kano started, Mbali Akwalo will be the support to ban Nam the Kano. Another way around, Nam the Kano and Wagon Sobu. Uh, he started supporting autopilot and i told you i told you i made it clear to you now you are seeing it that is how it is and that is how it will continue to be but all these pastors and priests who are supporting autopilot in their criminal activities all of them are going to be exposed mark my word it is starting from the biggest one of them it will come down to the smallest one of them to the mushroom one of them because they see the truth they call it lie they see a lie they call it truth even though many of you might challenge me to say mbaka never come to support autopilot but that utterances he made simon epawesia snoga penyekwi anagota as guy man oh as guy man he channeled his energy in towards that direction. You see, an oga penye kwe anagota. For you to believe, no, Simon Eba is to be respected. And he will keep deceiving the struggle. Killing our people on the ground. Him and Nelly of Ebu. They don't see it. They are not seeing it. Direct and indirect, they are killing our people on the ground. They are not seeing it. All you see is Simon Eba sin oga penye kwe anagota. This is the end of your deceit. Just like I am saying this, I am not a supporter of PVC because you will be getting PVC. Fulani will be playing a game of number. They will be playing a game of number. Had it been this man who woke up to tell you exactly what is going on? Had it been he woke up to tell you exactly what is going on? I believe you wouldn't be attacking him. Had it been he woke up because my own is that I, I will tell you and I will advise you how you are supposed to put your words. That is how I am. Had it been he tell you um, that uh, Peter B is not... Uh, 
you know, he's not seeing Pito be winning the election because the caliphate, they are re-strategizing, they are playing game of number. They will bring their mercenaries from across the Sahel to complete their number. And that Tunubu is not ready to leave that, uh, that uh, position. And the cabal will not have any choice than to give it to him because you know that he's not a strong man anymore. He loses it sometimes. His brain is not uh, in gear all the time. You know, had it been he put it in that way, had it been he came constructively, the way he came constructively to, you know, to counter IPOB leadership and gave it to Simon Eber. Had it been you did it that way, I don't think, but all to cool up again. From Kawime constructively, and you come to do this one, and you came open because you believe that uh, the politician made a pledge, he didn't uh, pay, um, come up with it. He didn't come up with it, you call him stingy. They are all politicians. Why do you depend on politicians to take the money that belongs to the community, to the state, to be giving it to you people? That is, you people will be preaching against these politicians, but tomorrow you will go and dine with the politicians using the money they will use to do service delivery to replenish you people, you become rich, and tomorrow, and if they don't do it, you will become their enemy. And tomorrow you will say bad governance, bad governance. No, you people should stop deceiving yourselves. It is high time you stop deceiving yourself. Politics is not working in Nigeria. Religion is not working in Nigeria. Nigeria, the only solution to Nigeria is referendum on disintegration. To correct that, you know, curse that uh, a dead man laid in Nigeria prior to 1914 amalgamation. All these things are the things you people need to be talking about every time politics, politician, uh, PVC, that's CVC. And the reason why I am I'm actually going to tell you guys the reason why I understand the you know why the, the leadership is not talking whether there will be no election or there will be election. Mazen Nam the Kano never said so. And another thing. And I believe it is the best way to do, go with it. We need to prove to these people that for the last time, that Nigeria is not for them. There is nothing they will do to achieve any position in Nigeria. As long as Fulani is involved. Just like you see on Yedipo, confessing what Mazen Namdekan prophesied 2015. But my problem there is that he, is, he placed it on himself. He claimed it was him. I think it is here. He started claiming it was him Just who gave uh, the prophecy in 1994 or 1990. That is another problem I have with from, it. Um, but the most important thing, give moves. credit to whom credit is due. You cannot Same. rip from where you did not Go. sow. You That's cannot destroy a relationship to build one, Nigeria. to build another. And that they have the right to live anywhere. Great beer friends all over the world. The colony is established. There will be no rest in Nigeria. And they are calling on all Fulanese across West Africa to come to Nigeria with arms. Listen. For this holy war. So, that is it. Where he, I just reflected on that. He said that the, the, the communique or the whatever that uh, Fulani responded that nigeria is for them nigeria is for them it is the god the, their god gave them the land of nigeria and that is the reason why we want to leave this nigeria for them but they are not allowing us to leave this nigeria for them and you people want nigerianist you know that they will flanize you you are still it is only a tree that knows that they will cut it down and they will remain just like autumn every day it will result for self-defense it will result to self-defense every day he never put it into action every day Fulani will be taking action you will be talking that is what makes us different from you guys we are their working generation i'm going to see you 
this afternoon for more very important exposition on all those criminal masking themselves in IPOB. But what I am also trying, I want to make it clear to you, this Onaga saga is the leverage, the leverage Mbaka and Simon had. It is a, you know, you, you talk about me in your adoration, I will expose Onaga for you. Until we meet again, see you this afternoon. Shalom.